I've really been dreading this. It really is the end of an era. After 11 years, reporter and weekend anchor Mark Hall is making a big move. This is his last week with us here at ABC 27. So I invited Mark to come here because I wanted to talk to him as we look back at his career here in the Mid-State. Mark, so I asked you during the break, has this all hit you yet? It's starting to hit me now, actually. Yeah. Uh, you know, and, and, you know, it's my last day here reporting. Um, you know, and it's kind of been a, a, you know, a good week, an emotional week, you know, just kind of reflecting on, you know, a lot of the, the things that, uh, you know, that I've done here and the experiences that I've had. So it, it's starting to hit today, to be honest with you. All right. So first, let's just tell everybody where you're going. Ah, uh, I don't know where I'm going. At. Okay. No, actually, I'm, I'm going to uh, Washington, D.C., uh -huh. our sister station, our brother station, or whatever they call it, <laughs> uh, DCW and WDVM. Mm -hmm. uh, and so... Uh, I'll be anchoring the, the noon and, and the five o'clock, uh, so I'm looking forward to you know the opportunity to, and I'm not moving to Brazil, I'm I'm just going down the road, and I still have family and friends here, so uh, you know I'm looking forward, James, to the opportunity and uh, see what I can do in the nation's capital. Mark, 11 years. I, I saw you when you when you made this announcement on Facebook. I you have over about 900 comments. What does that mean? You, you are a part of this community. You, yeah. Both of us, Susquehanna Township grads, mm -hmm. and you have just been rooted here in this area. What has that meant to you? It's meant a lot uh, because, you know, I grew up here. Uh, you know, we both graduated from Susquehanna, clearly different years, <laughs> but uh, not even close. But, um, uh, you know, it, it was kind of fun to come back uh, home. And see a lot of my friends. Aren't you going to miss and, this? Uh, oh my God! Look at that! <laughs> oh my God! Who 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 found that video? You, you know we have, we have a team here, and when, oh, yeah. when, when they're motivated, they, they'll, they'll track down some some yeah. flattering images yeah. of you. Yeah, I it, want to see how many of them you are. Have, you have a, uh, an umbrella. Yeah. One of your one of your one of your favorite things is reporting out in the rain. No, that's not one of my favorite <laughs> things at all. And you and Brett had fun with that over the years. You know, it's pouring down buckets of water and rain and what have you, and I'm just standing there and you're asking me more questions. So you know what I mean. But no, it's been great to come back home. Um, you know, the three-year plan turned into 11 years. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and it would have been, you know, I would have finished my career here, but then it, just an opportunity came that I couldn't uh, say no to. But what's it been like telling stories about the people where you grew up? Wow. You know, well, it, it's, it's fun. You know, it, it, you, it, and not only where you grew up, but just in the region, you know, you get a chance, the good stories. You know, you get a chance to meet good people, interesting people, and you find out that you have a lot of the same, you know, interest. Mm -hmm. And, you know, a lot of times, you know, we talk, you know, there's divisiveness, of course, that a lot of us are navigating through. But when you have a chance to meet people like you and I do, uh, you really get an opportunity to learn that, you know, we all pretty much just want the same things. And, you know, so it's good to do the good stories. And sometimes the bad stories get old. Um, but I think one of my most memorable experiences un unfortunately is recent because a lot of times we do stories that affect other people right but this covid pandemic it affected all of us and you know so you know we're out in the public doing stories about how it's impacting them but it's also we're experiencing the same thing as well mm -hmm. and so we can all identify with the struggle or with you know the the challenges you know of dealing with the pandemic and, and so that's one of the things that that i'll never forget moving forward james is that you know, we all have been going through the same thing, the same struggle, and that's just something that, uh, you know, that you just can't, you know, deny. You, you have definitely touched the hearts of so many people just inside this building and out in the community. I, I'm telling you, you know everybody. Everybody knows you, Mark. It is, it, 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 Every it, time it, I go and out, that's not like, an exaggeration. Oh, James Crumble. <laughs> you have so many people in your family. It's like some people are lying. They don't, they're not related yeah. to you. Well, they may be related, but they all know you. And I'm telling you the messages that I keep getting. But I also want to talk to you about the relationships here in this building because uh -huh. you, you have become a mentor to so many people. What has that been like shifting your career and being able to help bring up many of these young people? Well, reporters? I wasn't always the old guy in the room. Uh, and I'll never forget one time when me and Chuck, Chuck Rhodes and I, we were together and he kind of walked into the newsroom and he had that moment like, wait a minute, you know, and, and, and I've had that similar moment. Uh, but I started here back in 1997. I was a production assistant and I had an opportunity to work with uh, the late Greg Mace. He uh -huh. literally took me under his wing. Uh, and then I, Dennis Owens took me under his wing 
in a different way. Baptism by fire, yes. I guess. Uh, but, but learning the industry and learning the business from those two guys uh, was, was just something that, you know, you could always say thank you, but it's just not enough because those were the two guys that really exposed me, uh, you know, to the industry. And they, they went about it two completely yeah. different ways because Dennis did sports back in the late 90s. Well, so. you are definitely going to be missed. And, of course, I have to say thank you. You have mentored me throughout the years. You've helped me in ways that you don't even know. But, Mark, thank you so much. Thank you, James. All right, we'll be right back.